I think the one thing that's really good on Red Store Day is that throughout the rest of the year you might be looking to the future or, or like looking forward to certain releases or looking about gigs or what have you. But on Red Store Day, there's an untold number of people who are just all really, really excited to come into a record shop. Year-old girl standing next to the 65-year-old man, and they're all coming in to buy the, the, the record, which is special to them. And like the atmosphere on the day is, is completely unique. Hopefully, it just creates some kind of conversation and creates an interest, so it goes beyond the day itself. And people are still talking and thinking about. Uh, it's a bit of a celebration of what record shops are and what they do. Obviously, we're a record store 365 days a year, um, and what we do throughout the year is utterly important. We put on a load of gigs, we, we have loads of installs, we run a record label, we have a really good mail order service. But the, the one thing that Record Store Day gives us is a, a concentration on, on the actual importance of the high street independent record shop. Uh, it, it just encourages further interest, I think, in the media, which is, uh, uh, for me, a real positive. I think Record Store All Day reminds me that Banquet is here, it exists. I'm from the era of records, so let's get back to it. It's just a really good vibe. There's all sorts of regular faces, people we've never seen before, and there's, there's teenagers, there's, there's pensioners. It's just a really good, wide range of music lovers all in the store. Yeah, the crowd's been very, uh, very supportive of the shop, very pleasant. Um, had a nice little chat with everyone as they've come in, uh, come into the store. Um, yeah, most people are, are regulars that we recognise from the other 364 days of the year. A lot of them are avid collectors and people we see sort of week in, week out throughout the year. Yeah, nice to see them come on our, our busiest day of the year, help us celebrate Record Store Day. That's what it's about, people like him who are going, well, how does that record work? Hopefully it's sort of keeping the music industry alive and what's good about the music industry. And it certainly looks like there's plenty of people interested in it, aren't there? I don't think we're kind of better or worse than many other shops. I think we just do our thing and we put on 200 shows since the last year alone and uh, I think we're on course to do that again. So it's trying to sort of, it's trying to do every aspect of what a music fan would be interested in. Yeah, do it, do it well. Some of the best gigs that I've been to have been put on here. Because you know where your money's going. Well, some of the money obviously goes back into booking bands I want to see. One of the things we sort of, uh, that, that is, is key to Record Store Day is to kind of not only appreciate the shop that day but also what we as a, a company and also a group of friends and a group of music fans do throughout the rest of the year. In June we've got uh, our first ever festival which is like, quite a big quite a big deal for us and there's a lot, a lot of great bands uh, and it's very representative of what we've done over the last kind of two years. Yeah, it's great to help the scene, lots of gigs going on and there's always a record store behind you know, every good scene and uh, Bank has been around for years. A lot of it is just an extension of what we do as, as, a, as a business, like providing a service for a music band, and then that, that helps kind of get the, the name of the, the shop out there, and, and then we sell records to those fans who've just gone to the gig. You need to, you need to give a, a, the customer a, a reason to, to want to buy the record, encourage the positive things about getting a, a physical record in your hand. Having the whole sort of record thing back again is good because obviously CDs have just killed everything. So going back to vinyl, you know, it's definitely brilliant. I think it's a, I think it's a good thing. Uh, it's, you know, it's, I'm glad that it's you know making people more aware of independent record stores and just hope that we see more of them popping up uh, rather than closing down. It's a day dedicated to them, isn't it? You know what I mean? A day dedicated to actually having a physical single. I mean, I mean just like just the fact that everyone's talking about it, like. You know, your Twitter feed's full of it, your friends are queuing up in the, in, in the street to get into a record shop. Like seeing the look on people's faces when they get that record that they've, they've been queuing up for, for ages is great. And it's just, uh, it's just, everything about it is just so positive right now. Like, Hopefully, generally from my impression of what, what's been happening this year and last year is that it's an ongoing interest and so it sows a seed and that seed grows over the year, hopefully. Lots of smiles on people's faces. Lots of people picking up some, some records and people just having a good time really, like the vibe is really positive and uh, it's been great and the till's been ringing and, and we've been having some good music on, like you can't ask for more than that really.